Today we delve into the wild life of comedian and famed animal lover John Candy. The man you know as John Candy was actually born James Franklin Sucrose in Newmarket, Ontario in late October in the year 1950. As Candy grew up in the suburbs of Toronto, he developed three great loves, performing, graham crackers, and caring for abandoned circus animals. These passions developed after a chance encounter in 1956, when the Ringling Brothers came to Toronto and young John Sucrose was chosen to be the knight's honorary ringmaster. In exchange for his work that night, he was paid a full box of graham crackers and given possession of a bear cub named Theodore. By the time he had entered his teenage years, Candy had accumulated eight other animals that had been cast off by circuses and managed to use their training to his advantage, creating a traveling show known as John Sucrose's Wild Safari. After the CBC caught wind of the act, they offered the young man his own television show on the condition that he change his last name to something more palatable. Thus was the origin of both John Candy and John Candy's Wild Safari. Although the show kept its title until the end of its run in 1974, the animals were all fired shortly after the first season, and it became the Canadian equivalent of Soul Train, with Candy doing his best to become an oversized Caucasian Don Cornelius. The program became CBC's highest rated television show until the Degrassi Empire stole the crown in 1982. After the cancellation of Wild Safari, Candy became downtrodden and removed, working a series of odd jobs and tiny film roles before finding steady work as a pin setter at a Toronto bowling alley in the late 70s. It was there that he met Canada's top professional bowler and fellow performer, Eugene Levy, who introduced Candy to Catherine O'Hara. O'Hara and Levy knew his work from Wild Safari and immediately cast him in their small, disco-inspired restaging of Our Town, as both Emily Webb and George Gibbs. That production eventually became SCTV and ran on NBC until Candy's departure in 1983. At that time, Candy devoted himself full to his two remaining passions, performing and graham crackers. While most people know Candy's iconic roles as Barf in Spaceballs, Del Griffith in Planes, Trains and Automobiles, and Uncle Buck in the eponymous film, many are unaware of Candy's role in creating an extensive line of flavored graham crackers shaped like small bears as a tribute to his dearly departed Theodore. These Teddy Grahams, as they were so called, delighted children everywhere, although they were originally created as a sexual aid for premature ejaculators. Unfortunately, just as his beloved edible ursines rose to international prominence, Candy's heart blockage rose as well, and the lovable actor went into cardiac arrest. He may have left us far too soon, but his memory will live on forever.